What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another quick and easy Photoshop tutorial. Now in today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to put a screen on this iPhone inside of Photoshop to essentially create a Photoshop mock-up where you can change the screen in and out, etc, etc. Now as always, right before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all the content. You can also jump down to the description to check out the Instagram, Twitter, and Discord page. And if you like this song you're currently listening to, you can sign up for a 30 day free trial to Epidemic Sound. So you can also have cool music for your videos too. Let's get started. Okay, as always, you can actually download this photo. There's a link down below. It's a completely free photo from Unsplash, so download it so you can follow along with this tutorial. Now, you have the photo opened up in Photoshop. The first step, as always, to take the background and drag it to this little layer icon right here. Creates a copy, saves the background in case you mess something up. Next, what you wanna do is actually grab your shape tool right here and then just click on the screen. Opens up this. We want the width to be 1080 and the height to be 1920, which is a great resolution for an iPhone. And out pops a shape. Now take your shape, let's uh, double click this right here and actually change it to red. Uh, and then you can hop over to properties. If you don't see the properties window, go to window and then properties. And let's turn the stroke off for now. Just a red shape. From here, you can actually take the shape, right click and do convert to smart object. So next, what you wanna do is go to edit, transform, and then skew. From here, we can actually drag the edges of this shape to the edges of the iPhone. So let's then just go to the blending mode, change it to like color burn in this case so we can actually see. Let's uh, hit command plus on our keyboard or control plus on a PC and grab these edges and actually kind of put it towards the edge of this iPhone. So we can actually kind of align the perspective of what this screen would actually be. It's a pretty simple process. You just kind of drag it into place to kind of nail it down. And it is a little bit of a guessing game, but that's totally fine. And I like to actually have the edges be a little bit past where it would be in real life. Just for purpose of fit. As you can see, that goes a little bit beyond that edge and beyond that edge. And then let's hit the check mark, change this back to uh, normal. As you can see, we maybe need to jump back in, transform and skew again to actually pull this out a little bit. And I think that actually looks pretty correct. Now that we have a rectangle in place, we actually want to cut a hole out of this image to put the rectangle in the phone screen. So let's take the background copy, make another copy of it and put it on top. From here, we can actually create a mask by clicking the mask button and we can mask out the front of this screen by grabbing our brush tool. Let's find the circle, change the color to black, and we can just paint right on this. Let's turn all the other layers off and start painting out this screen. So I'm gonna do this quite quickly, painting out the screen, um, to speed the process up, but you'll be able to see in the time lapse that this is how quick I'm doing it. <laughs> Let's get started. And as you can see, I'm also using my polygon lasso tool to quickly grab large sections of this with black as the background color and just hitting backspace, which just fills it with black. From here, we just have our last edge to paint out with the brush tool. Or we can grab our lasso tool because it is a straight line. And just fill it with black. Zoom out, that actually looks pretty great. Now let's turn on background and we can see where we've messed up. So we have a couple of things we need to fix. We can fix that really quick with the brush tool. Okay, great. We have a almost perfectly cut out screen section for this. Now you may notice there are some places we missed it's kind of hard to see on my screen, but 
Um, so far, you get the picture. This should work wonders for what you need. Okay, next up, we wanna actually add a screen to this. Really simple. Let's double click rectangle one, which opens up a PSB file, which is why we created a smart object. Now you can drag and drop images onto here to create a screen for this iPhone. I'm grabbing any old image, the image we used on the last video. Let's do a full screen photo, hold alt and do it like this. Now this is gonna look super clean for this. Let's add our photo and then hit file save. And now we should have a photo on this screen. Now the photo does look a little too bright, like a little too realistic. So what we wanna do is actually create the same color grading type wash to match the original background photo. And I think a really easy way to do this is a very simple fix. Let's double click rectangle one, jump back into our PSB file, create a new layer, and make sure white is selected as our background color, and then hit control backspace or command backspace on your keyboard. Now take the opacity of this layer and let's just take it down a bunch. It gives it that kind of white sheen glow we're looking for. Hit file, save, and then jump back over to our original Photoshop file. Now it has more of that white wash that we saw before. And I think the last step to make this really match is to go to filter, camera raw filter, effects, and let's increase the grain a little bit just to kind of help it blend into the photo. And if you really want to, you can actually change the temperature a little bit to make it a little more blue, decrease the saturation and click okay. And there you have it. You have a photo that now matches this phone on the screen where you can double click the rectangle one and add anything you want to the screen. As always guys, I'm Max. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Other than that, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.